next grammar point is the particles to and he. Both to and he are very common in conversational Hindi and you would hear them a lot from the native speakers. Let's learn their meanings and usage in different contexts. The particle to is very frequently used in Hindi. It adds different kinds of nuances to the meaning. It is not very easy to give the precise translation. We'll try to understand the meaning through examples. The first one is to as so in English. At the beginning of the sentence, to means so. To a chutti hai. So today is the day of. To tum Hindi jante ho. So you know Hindi. To tum ho Ramesh. So you are Ramesh. To can also link two sentences as a conjunction. In that case, it means then. Agar tum a rahe ho, to mai bhi a raha hoon. If you are coming, then I am coming too. Agar tum kaho, to mai zarur aunga. If you say, then I will surely come. To can also be placed after a word to emphasize it in contrast to something else. That something can be expressed in a sentence or it can only be implied without being said. Let's take some examples. Kamra to bada hai. The room is big, but not the kitchen. The word emphasized here is kamra, the room. And it is put in contrast to something else, which is not said but might be implied. For example, in this case, kitchen. The next one, kamra bada to hai. The room is big but not cozy. The word emphasized here is bada. It is put in contrast to something else, which might be cozy. So you can see in the first sentence, the word kamra is emphasized. So the particle to comes after kamra. And in the second sentence, the word bada is emphasized and the particle to comes after bada. The particle he is used to put emphasis on the word that comes before it in a sentence. It can usually be translated as only into English. He expresses emphasis on the word in contrast to something else. That something might not be expressed in the sentence. Wo guitar hi bajata hai, in parenthesis tabla nahi. He plays guitar only, not tabla. Here, the emphasis is on guitar in contrast to something else. At that, something could be part of the context and not expressed in the sentence, which could be tabla here. Keep in mind, he is not free to move around. It comes only after the word that is emphasized. Let's take the same sentence and move he to some other place. Wo hi guitar bajata hai. In parenthesis, uska bhai nahi. Only he plays guitar, not his brother. Now, the word wo, the subject pronoun wo is emphasized. Only he plays guitar, not his brother. Let's take a few more examples. Main kahaniya hi likhta hu. I write stories only, in contrast to something else, which could be poetry. Main kahaniya hi likhta hu, kavitaen nahi. I write stories only, not poetry. Main hi janta hu, aur koi nahi. Only I know, nobody else. Sometimes he can be used to emphasize an entire phrase. Wo sone ke liye hi ghar aata hai. He comes home only to sleep. He probably works very hard, spends all his time in his office and comes home only to sleep. He can also be used after pronouns and adverbs and often they become a new word. Here are a few examples. Wo plus he, vahi. Only he, only she. Ye plus he, yahi. Only he, only she again. Hum plus he, hami. Only we. Tum plus he, tum hi, only you. Here are a few more. Ab plus he, abhi, right now. Sub plus he, sabhi, absolutely all. Tab plus he, tabhi, only then. Yahan plus he, yahi, right here. Vahan plus he, vahi, right there. Let's take some example sentences. Main yahi ghar kharidna chata hoon. I want to buy this house. And only this house, no other house. Tum hi mera dard samajhte ho. Only you, you alone understand my pain. Jab mein paise maangta hoon, to wahi paise deta hai. When I ask, he's the only one who gives me the money. Nobody else gives me money. Wo yahi kaam karta hai. He works right here, in this very place, no other place.